Welcome back to Turning Hard Times into Good Times. I'm your host, Jay Taylor, and I'm really pleased to have with me for the first time Terry Coughlin. He is the CEO of Go Gold Resources. This is a company uh, that has just entered, actually started producing some silver and gold uh, from a tailings project in Mexico. Uh, I have recently recommended Go Gold Resources in my own newsletter, uh, and so uh, it's one that I think has, has a great shot at doing well in the future. Uh, but one of the things I like about it an awful lot is the fact that they are uh, generating cash flow early on to help fund and grow their company organically uh, from inside rather than having to go out and issue shares of stock, which is especially painful at this time, at this point in time in the, um, uh, in the junior resource uh, cycle. Terry is from uh, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. He is, as I mentioned, the president and CEO, and he's also a director of Go Gold Resources. He uh, has a bachelor's degree in geology from St. Mary University and has been actively involved in the mineral resource industry since 1984. He was a director of Gammon Gold, a mineral exploration company which traded on the Toronto Exchange and New York Exchange as well and served as vice president and director of that company from 1997 to 2003. And he was also vice president of Acadian Minerals Corporation from 2003 to February 2010. Uh, and a director of Acadian as well. So he's had a very a substantial background uh, in the mineral, uh, in the mining industry. Uh, just a, a word about Go Gold. It trades on the uh, Toronto Exchange under the symbol GGD, uh, and you can buy it down here in the United States under the symbol GLD, uh, GLGDF. I see this stock is trading at about a dollar fifty-five Canadian earlier today. One hundred and thirty-nine, just shy of one hundred and forty million shares. Outstanding. Welcome, Terry. It's really good to have you with me. Well, thank you, Jay. Thanks for having me. It's uh, really quite a nice story, and I, I guess uh, I knew uh, that you were, had something in the making uh, a year or two ago, but it was when I met up with you at the PDAC uh, this, this March that I really started to say, hey, wait, this, is, this looks like a really good story, and I proceeded to put it in my newsletter. You, um, you've really come out of the shoot here, I guess, early production because you picked up Tailing, a tailings project at the uh, Parral mine in Chihuahua, Mexico. Is that right? It's Parral, yes, in, in Chihuahua, Mexico. That's correct, yeah. And, and yeah. so what do you uh, – you just poured your first silver and gold bar the other day. What mm-hmm. do you expect you can do? Uh, wh- how much do you think you can produce from, these tail- from this tailings project, and what would be the mine life there? Well, the mine life right now is, is uh, slated for about 12 years at 5,000 tons a day. And um, so it's, it's 21 million tons of tailings, so it's quite a large tailings pile. And the grade is, is actually pretty good. It's, uh, it's just over a gram equivalent gold, which is, which is high grade for a, for a heap leach operation in Mexico. So we're, we've got um, our, our goal is to, to move it from 5,000 tons a day to 10,000 tons a day early next year. And so the mine life will shorten to about seven years. But uh, the cash flow from that in 2015 is anticipated after tax about 30 million cash flow. So it's, 30? Uh, Three yeah. zero? Yes. That is yeah. really good. Uh, $30 million uh, can, can go quite a ways in, uh, in exploring some of your other projects. And I want to get to that mm-hmm. as well. So, you're, so I mean, this is, this is remarkable because you don't have to go and dig this out of the ground. It's sitting on top of the ground. You That's found right. What are your recoveries? Because a lot of times, obviously, tailings were left over from previous production. So what, what kind of recoveries are you getting out of this? Well, we're getting 63% recovery on the gold and, uh-huh. and about uh, 54 to 56% recovery on, on the silver. And is it so it's, is more silver value than gold? or No question. Not? There's 26 million ounces of silver and there's, I think, 212,000 ounces of gold. So, And then for the okay. first three years, anticipated production is up around the 3 million ounces of silver, and then it gets more into the gold near the, uh, the back end of the mine. You're not selling anything forward, are you? Uh, no, we have a um, an offtake agreement with with a group, but it's only an eight day look back, and and uh, it works out to about probably two percent. So it's not a of of market uh, value. So it's so. Virtu- so it's virtually a spot. Uh, That's right. Contract. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Uh, all right. So this this can uh, so the, you're talking thirty uh, million dollars this year at current gold price, silver uh, and gold be, prices. That'd be 2015, yeah, so it's like full year of production, and, and yeah. uh, we should be in uh, commercial production, which is about 60% of nameplate by uh, September, so um, basically September to September should generate around uh, you know, uh, two, 200 or, uh, 30 million uh, cash flow over that period of time. And that's with 5,000 tons per day? That's correct, yes. And could we double that if you go to, assuming similar prices and costs, would that's they right. be similar if you go to 10,000, or would there be some economies of scale there even? 
Well, there's, there, yeah, it should be economies of scale, and uh, you know, it would be probably you know the fifty or sixty million dollar range a, a year. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, of course, the, our goal is to is to have that up to ten thousand tons a day, and and then also bring our uh, the other project that we we purchased just recently online uh, mid next year, and that should generate uh, pretty good cash flow too. Yeah, I want to get to that, but I'm just looking at these numbers now. If you're talking thirty million dollars with one hundred thirty nine, one hundred forty million shares, it's uh, that's meaningful in terms no, no of question. a per share per share valuation, mm-hmm. and I would think in terms of your current share price as well. Uh, okay, so let's get to the other project you just picked up uh, recently. Uh, you just acquired from mm-hmm. Animus, I believe it was, a company that I had followed in the past. I always liked those people. I thought they were really good people. They mm-hmm. did a lot of good work there, but obviously fell upon hard times. This is the nature of the business a lot of times. And yeah. uh, But the Santa Ger- Gertrudis project, mm-hmm. Uh, in Mexico as well. Talk to us about that. What, what's uh, you say you could get into production within a year or something like that? There. Yeah. Well, the, the reason being, it, it was a past producing mine. It was a Phelps Dodge project at one time. Uh, sold mm-hmm. to Campbell Resources uh, back around uh, 2000 when gold hit 300 dollars uh, an ounce and under. Uh, the mine uh, went bankrupt based on a project that they had actually up in Quebec. Campbell Resources. Uh, they had mm-hmm. a water problem there, so the the, the project uh, went idle at that point reverted back to the, the Mexican um, landholders there and uh, Animus went in in uh, you know 2005 and, and, and really did a good job of putting the, the land package back together like you say they're great they're great people to doing that kind mm-hmm. of thing um, went and did some exploration for Molly there was some Molly on the project or something and, and they went in and did some holes and, and of course had their stock go up and then of course uh, the remainder of the holes came in dead after that and really ignored the uh, the, the mine that was there uh, there was a lot of um, Finding history there, it was a heap leach. Uh, they only crushed it to four inches. They had 75% recovery. Uh, the, the grade of the mine was around a couple of grams, so it's perfect. It's probably real high grade for, for a, a, a heap leach project. And uh, so we went, we started digging into the history, and uh, they were trading, I think, around three or four cents at the time and, and realized that the half a million ounces of, of uh, inferred resource that they had there was actually, we, we, we thought, considerably larger. And um, there was, you know, 10, 12 years of, of exploration history there. Probably, they probably spent on, in today's dollars of between 100 and $150 million to Whoa. generate that data and uh, really fell in love with the project. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's water on site. Uh, a lot of the whole roads are already there. Some of the pits are pre-stripped, uh, ready to go. And uh, there's a mine site there. It's um, housing and, and uh, you know, core shacks and, and, and everything mm-hmm. is in place. So all that infrastructure that would have cost us, you know, a few million dollars, obviously, to build and, and construct is already there. So it's simply re reestablishing mining or we're putting and, the mine back into production. So at the you, time it did close down, there was about five or 600,000 ounces in front of them. So, it, wow. uh, yeah, so we, we've gone in. We, we generated a new resource today. Uh, it was actually just out this morning. Uh, it's at, right now at 609,000 ounces of uh, indicated resource of 1.1 grams and another 141,000 ounces inferred at uh, around a gram 0.97 so okay so uh, that's and that's open pit obviously yeah that's an open no pit it's an and expansion of the old pit and that's heat right. leaching okay exactly. and uh okay so you've had a previous a previous mining experience there you got electric power there as well uh, no, we'll have to do some generation there, but it's it's a very you know low low energy uh, type of mine. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, yeah, because it's heat bleach. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Exactly. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. So, uh, all right. So, have you? Can you talk to us at all about? Economic anticipations, or is it too early? Well, it, um, what, what, uh, now that the resource is out uh, today, uh, we anticipate a, a PEA in, in July, um, mm-hmm. and you'll start to see the, the you know the NAV value of, of that project, and and uh, you know we anticipate it, it going to be uh, considerable, especially with the number of ounces that we've we just put on the books for for resource here. Um, you know, obviously the, the, it won't won't talk reserve, but uh, because it's past production and, and the history is there, we, we've got a pretty good hand. Handle on on numbers. Mm-hmm. We've built a number of mines in Mexico now. We just finished the construction of a heap leach facility, so we've got the costing down quite well. So we, we think that the cost of this to build is going to be between twenty and twenty five million dollars, uh, which is very very low capex, uh, and, and that's what we look for: a low low entry points into in this environment, especially, and uh, what we think are, are uh, low cost ounces to produce. Well, we don't have the studies out yet, but back of the envelope, we we believe that both projects together. 
should produce between 100 and 125,000 ounces a year, and uh, we're, we're pretty confident that it'll be below you know the $700 range all in cost. But oh, of course, that that'll come in the studies and over the next little while. Yeah, well, that sounds uh, that sounds pretty good. I mean, there's mm-hmm. pretty good margins there, especially, of mm-hmm. course, as we know in this business, everything changes. Uh, we were no question, you know, <laughs> and it's a, it's dynamic, so everything changes. I mean, immediately after uh, a couple of years after the Lehman Brothers debacle, the real price of gold rose very dramatically, and and mining profits went up very substantially. And then uh, since 2011 or so, the mining industry has have a, had a tough time. But obviously, if you could produce it. 700 bucks or so a cash cost but yeah 20 25 million uh dollars mm-hmm. for these this day and age is a very reasonable capex for sure what about the exploration potential here it seems to me uh in in the little review that i did that you have a lot of upside exploration potential here as well no question the, the resource that you 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 saw this morning uh jay was was yeah. an in pit resource so there's a lot of uh, actual drill intercepts outside of those pits uh, that require you know some more drilling some more confidence to put them into a, a pit shell and uh, i think there's a, you know a few hundred of uh, drill intercepts that we the historic ones that were drilled by you know Campbell and also uh, uh, Phelps Dodge that uh, with a, with a bit of a follow up can can add answers substantially to this project they're all near surface to all the pits are within you know 100 meters of surface, so it's it's uh, easy drilling, it's short holes, and uh, we think we can add you know considerable ounces here over the next uh, you know uh, 12 months. So, so uh, so that's your second. That's really your flagship property with the other uh, tailings project providing some very meaningful cash flow to fund this into production. I mean, if you're if you're producing 30 million of, of cash flow a year, mm-hmm. if you're able to get to that point, uh, mm-hmm. then you would think a lot of the CapEx could be internally funded even, possibly. Uh, no, Am no I question. right about we that? Don't, we, don't, we don't anticipate going to the market for, for an equity financing. Uh, we have um, some warrants that are coming due in February, but we've got an early uh, exercise uh, program out right now, um, incentive program to uh, to the warrant holders. There are a lot of big bigger funds in the U.S. that have been following us through the years and are different entities that, that hold stock in our company, and uh, they're quite willing. Uh, they're at least they're telling us that they'll exercise their warrants here in the next uh, um, few weeks, and that should generate. Uh, if there's 18 million dollars worth of warrants on the books, and, and if we get you know two thirds of that or a third of that, uh, it'll help us move move this mine along uh, quickly. We've also have a, a, a debt financer that uh, helped to fund uh, the Perel project that are very very interested in in funding the uh, the Santa Gertrudis project also. So. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, that we'll, we won't have to go back to the markets for for any more more cash. That's for sure. Oh, that's yeah. so. You, so the dilution factor with 140 million shares. What if if all of those warrants were exercised? What would that? How many warrants are out there? Uh, it'll be 159 million fully diluted. Or that is the fully diluted number. So 159 basically. fully diluted. Okay. Well, yeah. not yeah. not bad at all. For mm-hmm. if you can get to that point, uh, produce. Uh, uh, hundred, hundred and twenty-five thousand ounces a year. With uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's, uh, it looks. It, the economics look really good. Uh, what can you tell me about Mexico and security? It's some issues that uh, in some site, some places in Mexico, there's some concerns about security issues. Uh, no, no question. There is in some places in Mexico. Um, we, we, our projects are in, in, in really good areas. Uh, we're not we're not too concerned. We've been working down there for almost 20 years, and I really never had an incident uh, that uh, was anywhere near uh, you know uh, a problem for us. So um, we've uh, we've we're pretty well known down in Mexico from the number of mines that we've been involved with and the companies that we've built, and uh, so we've we've had some pretty uh, pretty good success down there. And never really had any 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 problems. And, and again, the projects are in in, in good areas uh, away from the, uh, the the fringe areas that 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 have problems down there. So, obviously, uh, at Santa Gratitudes, you're going to be focused primarily, I would imagine, this year in getting that uh, uh, commercial production achieved at those costs and so forth. But mm-hmm. uh, you, you have a tremendous exploration potential there. Uh, are you planning to spend any money on exploring uh, at the Santa Gratitudes? Well, we're actually drilling there right now, and uh, yeah. the, the goal is to expand the resource as quick as we can, and, and actually have hopefully more ounces uh, for for the PE, uh, PEA in in, uh, in July even. So, mm-hmm. um, a, a few holes in, in certain areas can add ounces quickly. So, uh, we're 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 uh, you know pedal to the metal and, and, and putting as many drill holes in, in areas that we think we can. Uh, and P and E uh, out of Toronto here uh, did the uh, uh, the resource study, and they they've actually identified a few areas for us to to put holes. 
fails quickly to uh, to uh, grow the resource. So uh, we're, we're okay. Uh, we're just about out of time here, but one mm-hmm. more question. I know that you have another a third project called the Santa, uh, San Diego project. Right. Just talk to us briefly. Take a minute and tell us about that story, about that project. Yeah, it's a very large project. We started the company with uh, back about three years ago. Um, had some exceptional drill results, and and uh, you know one of the one of the best holes in my career. I think 194 meters of 1.1 copper, 87 grams Ooh. silver, and 0.3 gold. And uh, basically, the market doesn't care about expiration these days. So you know we've had other holes, seven meters of 938 grams silver, and and uh, you know 84 meters of 1.98 grams per ton gold. And and wow. uh, you know it, it. So we we you know we did definitely get some value out of that in the market. It, but uh, our main goal right now is, is, and I think the market out there in general, uh, we, we switch gears from the expiration. We still have that project. It's a great project, lots of upside. And uh, so we've got uh, a lot of things to go back and, and, and explore once this cash flow starts. So, Boy, you sure do. It's, uh, mm-hmm. it's, it's very exciting, I think. And uh, I guess your website is gogoldresources.com. People, uh, would, listeners should really go there and check it out. There's a lot of... Uh, good information there and uh, a lot of pictures that help you get a, a sense and a perspective of what Terry has just been talking to us about. Anything else, Terry, you'd like to add before we conclude well, our discussion well, today? The management team that we have in place, it was been in the management team for a number of companies. Uh, you know, Go Gold Resources, that was ours. We started it from the first drill hole, took it through uh, $2.2 billion market cap. Uh, Mexico started it from zero, basically sold it for $387 million. And um, so so we're, do, we're doing it again. Uh, we've mm-hmm. raised over a billion dollars in the market over the last uh, 15 years, and, and uh, so we're capable of raising money. We raised $80 million for Go Gold uh, over the last uh, three years, probably in the worst time anybody is oh. seen in the market, so we've, we've got a great management team that can raise money, and, and, and we love building mines, and that's what we do. Well, raising money and building mines is sort of a rare combination. There's a lot of people who know how to raise money but don't know how to build mines, and so it's, uh, it's uh, congratulations on, on apparently pulling something together again that looks like, looks like it's going to be a success. I want to thank you very much, Terry, for being with us, and I look forward to talking to you again sometime in the not-too-distant future. Okay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. 